What inspires me? Whatever surrounds us. Being in this field, you're looking around the bird life, the, the plants, the berries, the, the soil that I walk on, the trees that I pass, the grasses, the flowers, everything, everything that surrounds me inspires me. Yeah, I came out of Michelin Star Kitchens, just had enough of that scene and and just having this peace and tranquility just to just to study, you know, what surrounds us again and create well amazing dishes out of out of what I can find. My name's Matt Powell, I'm a fisherman, a forager and a chef. People come here for two or three day excursions. You know, typical day, depending on the tides. We cover three elements, hedgerow plants. Shoreline plants, seaweeds. Fungi. Fishing as well. But on the foraging day, you know, you get this amazing multi-course dinner at the end with what we've picked in local ingredients. It's basically like a chef's table. In the dishes that I create, I'm looking at the past, an old tradition that's completely been lost, brought into the modern phase to emulate Wales, to emulate this, this beautiful country. I daydream about recipes. I think of recipes on the foot the hen of the woods, which grows on oak trees. So just a simple idea of just cooking it, then placing it back on a piece of tree. And then it gets the ash shoot that's pickled in the springtime. Pickled elderflower, your wild garlic at three different stages. Old Celtic cured lamb that's completely been lost. Then we go on to the onion soup, which is something I've taken from my grandmother and just brought it into a modern phase. The egg in the woodland, it's based on the birds that are nesting in the trees and it's supposed to be like something that's fallen in the woodland. Stack rocks dish. So, you know, I just wanted to create this dish in homage to the birds. It's a birch flavored meringue and then I color it with ash from the hay that we get off the farm and make it look like rocks. And then you sit this little egg in there with the custard. When we were kids, my grandparents, they always used to grow beetroot. They just cut the beet for a long time and then char that, which just adds a smokiness to it. We used to preserve the beetroot for the winter, so that's the pickled element underneath in the seaweed vinegar. So the acorn dessert is called a gift from the woodland. The inspiration is like the oak tree and a truffle. I wanted to emulate that symbiotic relationship, so I wanted to take the essence of the oak tree through uh, acorns, and then I wanted to make the soil. I use British grains for that, and then I malt them and cook them for four or five hours and then just blitz it into a powder. It's not all about the fine dining aspect of what I do. There's also the educational bit. Some ecosystems are getting destroyed, so I think it's, it's important to have this understanding for conservation and future generations, because it's, it's not just important for this part of the world, it's important for the, the future of the planet. You know, people need to get back to nature, back to our roots.